Hi, and welcome to this introduction to Godot 4 course, brought to you by Quiver. My name's Tom, and in this course, I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of the Godot 4 game engine. Together, we'll create an exciting 2D infinite runner game called Raptor Run. I should point out that while some programming experience will be required to follow along with this course, you don't need any prior experience with game development or the Godot engine. We'll begin by downloading and installing the Godot 4 editor. With Godot installed, we'll run through creating the project. Then, we'll learn to navigate the various parts of the Godot editor, covering all of the most common panels, buttons and widgets. From there, we'll begin to look at how to create and compose scenes using Godot's node architecture, allowing us to build our player, environment, enemies and more. We'll learn the fundamentals of GD script as we write the code to handle things like user input, controlling player movement, detecting collisions, picking up collectibles and attacking enemies. We'll use stunning custom artwork to bring our game to life with animations, and once the game is done, we'll learn how to export it so that we can share our game with others on the Quiver platform and beyond. So grab a drink, make yourself comfortable, and let's get started. A game engine, at its core, is a framework that helps developers build games. Typically, a game engine will take care of things like drawing graphics to the screen, handling user input, and playing audio. The level of abstraction varies from engine to engine, but typically most modern game engines come with an editor which developers will use to build out their games visually, and then bring them to life using code or scripting. Some popular game engines you may have heard of include Unity, Unreal Engine, and GameMaker. As you would expect, Godot offers a visual editor and the ability to develop your game's logic using code. Godot has the added benefit of having a completely integrated development environment for writing and debugging your code which means less time spent switching back and forward between the editor and your external IDE. Another huge plus for Godot is the fact that unlike game engines like Unity or GameMaker, Godot is completely open source. This means that not only is Godot absolutely free to use, but it's also continuously being improved upon by the community. This includes fixing bugs and performance related issues, and adding new and exciting features. If you'd like to learn more about Godot's features and philosophy, be sure to check out their official website at godotengine.org. When you're ready, let's get started. The first step in creating our game in Godot 4 is downloading and installing the editor itself. You can find a link in the description to download the latest version that's compatible with this course. Once there, download the zip file for your operating system of choice and extract it to somewhere on your computer. 